Okay, as you can see on the big board, we have high winds blowing in from Suplex City as an F5 tornado comes rearing in. But keep in mind, this could all change at any moment because I'm a weatherman or a meteorologist. I prefer that term because it distracts from the fact that I have absolutely no obligation to be accurate and I have zero accountability. And I might even change my predictions every hour on the hour, so that way you keep checking in and therefore giving us extra viewings. Oh, uh, this just in, tornadoes can kill you and everyone that you love. Tune in at 6 to find out how you and your family can stay safe. Uh, I was just told by my station director that this is still the news, so I have to fear monitor you with sensationalism in order to keep our ratings up. But hey, you can trust me because I'm a weatherman. Welcome back to Kayfabe Science, the only show on the internet that likes wrestling so much that it celebrated Pi Day on 316 instead. I'm your host, Dr. Dave. Drop a load on him. How many doctors out there know just what I'm getting at? Who thinks it's wrong because I'm splitting and co-hitting that? Well, if you do, that's PhD and you're not down with it. But if you don't, here's your membership. Are you down with PhD? Yeah, you know me. Today's episode is the F5. Now, Brock Lesnar's finishing maneuver is so named after the Fujita rating scale, which measures the natural disaster, nope, not earthquake, not typhoon, but the tornado. Developed in 1971 and named after its creator, Tetsuya Fujita, a scientist who did his research on the subject of tornadoes at the University of Chicago. You'd think that alone would qualify the F5 as a CM Punk move. Now, when the Fujita tornado scale was first devised, very little information had been made available on the damage that can be caused by wind. And as such, the Fujita scale was originally designed to go from F0 to F12. But for practical purposes, and as we use the scale today, F0 through 5 are the ones that we actively have in use. But F6 and beyond are still theoretical and exist as potential inconceivable tornado ratings, which would have devastating levels of damage far beyond anything that we currently know of. That's right, John Cena, the next step up from an F5 is an F6, not an FU. And definitely not an AA either. But how much damage does an F5 cause, and does Brock Lesnar actually live up to it? Well, an F5 is listed as the most devastating tornado that we know of, and is listed as causing incredible damage. So let's just see exactly how much mess a Fujita 5 can muster. First, let's just examine the housing market, because even strong frame houses can be lifted straight off the ground and relocated considerable distances away. That'll definitely put us not in Kansas anymore. F5s can also seriously damage housing foundations and even disintegrate entire homes as well. With that being the case, you can just imagine how bad this can scramble a trailer park since mobile homes can be demolished during a mere F2. And even beyond houses, an F5 can manage to topple a skyscraper Jenga style. Not to mention that an F5 tornado can also take cars and send them flying over 100 meters. Okay, but does the Beast F5 swirling finisher live up to the spin of its namesake? Well, an F5 tornado can instantly devastate a house, and Brock Lesnar definitely devastated Kane in seconds at a house show. The F5 can hurt a skyscraper something awful, and Mean Mark, a member of WCW's faction The Skyscrapers, has definitely felt his fair share of pain at the hands of the F5. And finally, can Brock turn a car into a frisbee like an F5? Yep. Well, there you have it. While you might have to stand back when a hurricane is coming, you should definitely move straight out of Dodge when an F5 comes blowing in from Suplex City. Because as I've made it perfectly clear, Brock Lesnar really blows.